you're in the middle of projects. And I got a panic call from the mailman. And the mailbox was full. So we actually brought it up. Another 10 round mag for the 351. I actually have three of these. Yeah, well, I'll have to make my little modification to it and stuff, but there's a story that's behind these. But anyway, this guy was selling them, a guy out of Alaska, for $47. So this is the third one that I have. But that's, like I say, another story. I'll explain all that. When the time comes, I have to educate some Canadians. Now this, I also know what it is. And this also has to do with the 351. This is from Wolf. You know, the spring people. And these are the heavy duty extra power springs for a 351 Winchester. And they weren't very expensive. I have to look, I think it probably says on here. Yeah, 11 bucks each. So I bought two because I plan on having that done for a while. And in all likelihood, I'll pick up another. But this is, again, part of the experiment. I'm really at the experiment, especially now that I have that. Well, this was in the mail too. I don't need that. Carhartt catalog, which might be all right, especially I got a $10 free gift card. So free ground shipping. Now this is the one that really caused the mailman fits. And here again it'll cost you. <laughs> might might have to cut the video off. And, uh, I don't know. But this is from the same guy that set the brass before. Oh man. <laughs> so <laughs> Pig snout, which I'm sure are meant for the dogs. More cat stuff. Okay, this I'm sure is human food though. <laughs> and I'm sure there's moxie in here. But plenty of cat food. <laughs> and lava soap. Now the man must not like that my hands are always like this, but like this was from, you know, pie tar. Thirty thirty brass. Now that's interesting. You know, I've always meant to try. You can make thirty two Winchester special brass out of thirty thirty. I might try one or two of them. But you know, someday I'm gonna have a thirty thirty two. No, it just makes sense. These are ugly looking snouts. But I'm sure them dogs would eat them. But you know, I got a half dozen dogs. Two pig snouts would cause a hell of a fight. No pig ears. <laughs> and gloves. <laughs> you know, this guy, he's a provider. Clam chowder. Oh, God, you scared me there. <laughs> no idea what I eat. Spab spread. Roadkill grill. Some kind of grinder with some kind of seasoning. I've seen these kind of grinders before. You can get them for pepper, you know, that do that. And a bunch more nickel brass, and I imagine, yeah, nine millimeter. There's always got to be one that opens. More 30 30. But you know, it's hundredy brass.
You know, it looks like new, but it is once fired. But well, that sure looks. You know, my stuff gets to be a little grubby after a while. Winchester 3030. No, no, I got an excuse to buy a 3030. I've always been tempted to buy reloading dies for 3030. More spam. Well, I guess I imagine. Oh no, I imagine wrong. Huh, dried beef. Here I was thinking moxie. Well, that's always good. Not only is a man providing brass, he's feeding me. Okay, cowboy cookout. <laughs> he wrote K9 on here. Because you, know, you look at it and you think, what is this people food? No, gourmet sausage treat for dogs. <laughs> the risky business deals with that bad. Cat food. There's supposed to be more dried beef. No, this is something else. Moxie jelly. Well, that's interesting. Made with original moxie soda. Huh. Well, that'll be interesting to try. Down in the bottom is a whole other deal. Sending packages in packages. Huh. All the tools you need to reload 22 shells. You know, you clean the rim out. Evidently, there's that igniting fluid that you put in there. Well, that'll be interesting to try. Huh. Yeah, I'd be very curious to see if that actually works. You know, I've heard of people doing something like that before, but I've actually never saw, like, a video or anything on it. Just for 22 long rifle. Well, that I'll have to do. I'm curious if it actually works 22 Magnum, too. Yeah, very interesting. So you actually have a bullet mold. <laughs> this is actually a two-cavity bullet mold. Well, yeah, there will be a video about that. Look mouth in here. Oh, repriming compound for that. A couple of packages of that. No. Oh, this is a die. For for reloading 22. It's got the shell holder and everything. Yeah. I, That'll be interesting. That will certainly be interesting. <laughs> the clam chowder scares me a little bit. <laughs> we'll see. I'll think about that. But I better feed the cat then. <laughs> cat really likes this stuff. Uh, after I've been putting that out there, the cat, as soon as he hears me open the door, comes tearing. Yeah, we'll see what this is now. After the other ones, it could be anything. No, nope, there we're back to the moxie. Though you had stuck in a diet moxie on the last shipment, and I took a drink and I thought, well, there's something wrong here. But yes, diet. Yeah, here we got. Yeah, this is the full strength stuff. Because that diet, I knew something was wrong. But, uh, you know, that whatever sweetener they use in the diet stuff, you know, it kind of clashes with me. This is really interesting, though. Very curious about that. 
I'll have to go ahead and mold up some 22 bullets. Yeah, there's a little deal must be getting in there and, and clean out the, the crimp, you know, get that crimp out from where it fired. And you must put the goop in there. But this has got to be some explosive stuff. Well, I suppose it must be like a binary that they've got it in three different packages. Yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah, the man thought he needed gloves. Okay, here's something. Oh, and it falls with them little can openers. <laughs> I got this tool. I've had these before, though. But Swiss Army knife takes the place of many tools. I'll put that in there so I don't lose it. And I should probably be wearing these when I'm running the chainsaw on this board cutting thing. You know, I don't normally wear gloves uh, when I'm doing that only because you're more likely, you know, if you get a glove close to the chain, it's more likely to snag, you know, and pull you in. Usually I'm far enough away from the chain, it doesn't really matter. But you do get vibration, you know, that's a long stretch that you're cutting. Well, with a mail like that every day, I wouldn't have to work. Oh, I don't work that hard now. But this 351 stuff, like I say, I've got you know, a long video or a series of videos to do on that. But I'm going to do some of the groundwork today because I can do that even if it's windy just to get different velocities down and then I'm gonna switch out to the power spring and see how much change in velocity it is but uh, there's a long lecture that goes with that that I really haven't decided if I want to get too much into but there is one <laughs> 